Hey there, Oceana here with G3 Agency with your free website audit for Rapid Garage Doors in West Palm Beach and Broward, Florida. In this free SEO website audit provided by G3 Agency, I'm going to show you two, uh, three to four things you can do to get Rapid Garage Doors in front of people who are searching for garage door repair services in the West Palm Beach and Broward area. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Your website is very fun. I like all the little stuff here. I will warn you that, um, you know, all the, all the little moving pieces. Um, I'll warn you though that this could be slowing your website down and that will negatively affect your placement on Google. So uh, just be aware of that and if you're having issues with speed, you're going to want to probably get rid of some of these things, but they are really cute and fun. So I see why you have them there for sure. <laughs> Very uh, uh, eye catching. <laughs> um, another thing that I, I noticed is that you do have your phone numbers up here. That is fantastic. Great placement for them. I might make them a bit larger, maybe make it so that, you know, you've got it across here the whole way. And then I would make them click to call rather than um, just kind of making them bigger like that. Uh, that way, if somebody clicks on it or uh, is on their mobile phone, which almost 70% of all uh, website visitors nowadays are going to be on their mobile phone. And so that just makes it easy for someone to click on that uh, with their thumb or their finger and call you right up right away. So uh, that's going to increase the amount of calls that you get from people who are coming to your website. The next thing that I'd like to go over is content. So what I mean with co when I say content is all of this that lights up in blue, all the words on the on the page and actually even the images, what they are saved as. Um, are that is uh, that counts as content and what Google likes is lots of content um, we suggest to our clients that they at least start out with 2,000 words on the home page and 1,000 or more words on the other pages on the site um, this is when Google starts really taking a business seriously as an authority in their field and so having lots of relevant content on your website is going to show Google that you know what you're talking about, you're the expert, and they're going to show your, your information to those searching. So uh, then I'm also going to show you what you saved your image ha your, here as. If I right click and cl click save image as, I can see this was saved as image1.jpg. This is another chance for you to um, show up in front of people searching. Basically, what you want to do is save these images as key phrases that people will type into Google when they're looking for your business. And we'll f I'll show you how to find those, uh, those keywords in just a moment. So first, I want to go over to your Arif's score. So this is a tool that my agency uses. It's called Arif's. And what it does is it gives us an in-depth look into how a website is performing. Uh, it's one thing for it to look pretty, right? It's another thing for, for it to be a commodity that's bringing you leads every month. And I can tell right here from these numbers that this is not a commodity. Your website's not bringing you leads right now. People might be finding your website through other channels and calling you, um, but they're not finding you from uh, search engines by looking up uh, your services in your area. So. Um, this score over here, the UR and DR, this basically tells me how much does Google from one to a hundred trust your business. And this is fairly low, although it's not insanely low. I've definitely seen much lower scores than this. So you're off to a good start. Um, so over here we see referring domains and backlinks. So these are, these two numbers are related and what they tell me is um, referring domains is how many websites out there have a link to your website on them. And then um, backlinks is how many of those links are there. So what this is saying is there are 19 websites pointing to your website a total of 57 times. And those each um, carry their own weight to them. If a website is um, well liked by Google or aka their scores over here are high, then um, a link from them is going to be more positive than a link from a website that has low scores. So you want to make sure that they're good websites that you're going and getting backlinks from, but you also want to make sure that um, they're relevant to your your um, 
industry. So if you go out there and get maybe like a painting contractor to point to you, um, that would make sense. Um, but going and just having a bunch of scammy sites pointing to yours just won't help you. Okay, and then right here, organic keywords. So you're showing up for 40 organic keywords, which is a good start. Um, but I don't think that you're showing up very high on them. Let me just look. So yeah, so if you look right here in this uh, column in position, you'll see that you're in position 20, 30, 20, 29, etc. So the first 10 positions are on the first page of Google. Those are the ones that are getting the clicks. If you're not on the first page of Google, you're not going to be getting the traffic from it. You can see here in the traffic column, you've got 0 0.09 visitors every single month. So that's about one in every 10 months you'll get a visitor <laughs> from um, someone typing in Boca Raton garage door repair. So um, if you were up further on that, you would expect to see a lot more traffic from there, especially if you were on the first page. And um, so then you would actually see some uh, traffic to your website and some calls and therefore some jobs from that. This is a really great um, keyword right here. So this one, Garage Door Repair West Palm Beach, has 300 volume. That means 300 people every single month are typing that exact phrase into Google on average. Uh, if you are sitting on the first page of that, you could expect to see quite a bit of traffic coming through. You know, you're never going to get all of this whole 300 because you have to share it with the rest of the page. But if you were sitting on the first page of Google, you would be seeing regular visitors coming in for that keyword and they would be high buyer intent. These people would be coming to your website in hopes of finding someone to do business with and it might be you. Okay, so that's basically how we find some good keywords. Now I'm going to look over here. Um, so this is Garage Door Repair West Palm Beach. I put it into Google and this is the results I got. This first area is ads. Um, everybody, not everybody, <laughs> they do have their time and place, but most people just scroll right past the ads. <laughs> Statistically, it's true. Uh, and then here we have the map pack. So the map pack, um, similar to how I talked about backlinks would help you get to the top of Google. So this is kind of a different section here. Backlinks are not as helpful here. What you want to do is um, go out and get citations. And that's similar to a backlink in that it's a vote of confidence from another website. It's um, another website lending you credibility. However, instead of it being a link on another website to your website, a citation is a listing of your name, address, and phone number listed exactly as it's listed on your Google My Business, which is this type of listing through Google. And if you look up Google My Business or if you look up your business name, uh, you'll be able to claim your Google, Google My Business and you'll be able to make sure that this information is accurate. And then you can go around and make sure that other websites have that information listed. That'll help you get to the top of this, which is very helpful, but not nearly as exciting as being down here in the number one organic result. I know it seems like it's far down the page, but that's what this spot is called. And it gets approximately 30% of all of the traffic that comes to this page. Um, it's the first result after the map pack. And specifically, if it is a local result rather than a directory result like Yelp. So um, this person here, broden.com, or this, web, this website, is getting the first um, the first position here. So what we want to know is why is it that they're sitting there? Why is it not you? And what can we do to surpass them and end up in that spot ourselves? So this is the website that's currently sitting in that number one spot. Um, they've got a couple of click to call numbers up here. That's good. Um, and then if you look down, you can see all these words here. They definitely don't have that 2000 word minimum that I was talking about that Google really likes, but it's doing better than the other competition. So it's winning. Um, it's got some more words than you do for sure. And then I don't know if they're saving their images properly. Um, Hero support one. No, they're not. <laughs> so that's another way we might be able to get ahead. Right. Uh, and then we can put them into this, the, um, RF's tool here, and we can see that 
their DR score is quite a bit higher than yours. Their UR score is not that much higher than, than yours. In fact, I don't think it's much higher or higher at all. Let's see. Gotta go back and find out. <laughs> yeah, so you got 13 and 9, and they've got 8 and 37. So they're a bit ahead, but you can see they're not sending any referring domains and backlinks to this page. Now we're looking, we're comparing ourselves to um, a specific page on their website instead of their their entire website because that's the one that's ranking on Google. So we just have to compare ourselves to that this um, extension. We don't have to totally compare ourselves to the um, we don't have to beat their whole site. We just have to build, beat the one that's showing up there. So um, they are showing up for some keywords. This might be a fun way to go and find some keywords we want to show up for. But here we are seeing that they're getting organic traffic. 123 visitors on average every month are going to their website because they were found on Google. So that's definitely traffic that you want. Um, okay, and then um, to just kind of give you an idea and give you a comparison, um, this is a client that we have. So these are your numbers up here. And this is a client that we have that also does garage door repair. And um, this is the numbers that they started out with. So when I was doing, when we were doing our um, video just like this for them, this is what we saw on our screen at that time. Their numbers here are a little bit higher than yours and here too, but still they didn't have any organic keywords unlike you, you've already got 40. And then right here, organic traffic is the same as yours, zero, nothing, right? So um, 11 weeks later, this is what their um, their numbers look like now. They've got 10 more um, in, well, 10 more on average in these two columns here, uh, which is nice. But look at this, referring domains and backlinks is quite a bit higher. Organic keywords went from zero to 574, and that organic traffic, oh, <laughs> moving things around, that organic traffic is at 137 and so that's just starting out you know they're just starting to get that ball rolling it's only been 11 weeks and we really like to say you know we, we start seeing those effects happening at about three or four months uh, and so it's just getting started for them so we're very excited uh, so I just wanted to show you that it's it's not hopeless <laughs> right there's definitely room for improvement here and you're off to a good start already so um, if you're interested in getting any answer, in questions answered, if you um, have any questions, if you would kindly give me some feedback, I would absolutely love it. Um, my phone number is here on the screen, as well as my email address, where you can reply to the email that I sent this video in. Uh, just as a real quick recap, you want to increase relevant content on your website, um, 2,000 or more words on the home page and then 1000 or more words on the other pages on your site. Uh, you want to implement backlinks to rank for high volume keywords like garage door repair West Palm Beach and you want to add citations in order to get up into that map pack. Um, so citations again are name, address, and phone number and they've got to be spelled exactly the same way that they're, they're spelled on your Google My Business list, listing and if if you can't find your Google My List, My Business listing, or you're having trouble with that, um, I'm sure we'd be happy to assist you in in that small way. Uh, it would be no problem at all. Uh, so uh, there you have it. That is it. And uh, I really hope that you find this information useful. And I also hope that I hear back from you soon uh, with some feedback. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.